Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Super Wrestling Federation's Saturday Night Power Slam. The role model, Magnificent Mandy, returns to the ring, and she's going to be taking on another returning star to the SWF, The Solution, Kennedy Sinclair. This should be a great matchup. This is going to be the first time these two have ever faced each other in singles competition. Look at this man, most well known for his cartwheel at the top of the entrance ramp. He wants to be more than that. He also wants to be more than a high school wrestling captain. He says that he wants to grow up. He wants to look better. He wants to feel better. He wants to be healthier, happier, stronger, better than ever. The solution, Kennedy Sinclair, changing up his appearance, says he's changing up his mentality. He says that he wanted to ditch the yellow singlet. He said he felt that he looked goofy. He said that he felt silly for wearing a high school singlet. That he wanted to take himself more seriously. He wanted to look more credible. He wanted to be more featured, more showcased here on SWF programming. He says we know that he hasn't been on the show much. He says that he knows he's had an immature, bad attitude. But he says that he wants to outgrow that. He wants to grow as a person. He wants to look better. He wants to feel better. He wants to be healthier. And he wants to be the next SWF World Champion. And so far, he appears to be proving it as he's putting on a great match against... His opponent tonight, the role model, Magnificent Bandy. This is the first time these two have ever faced one-on-one -on -one in the SWF. Here on Saturday Night Power Slam. The role model and the solution. Going to put on a great match. This should be a barn burner for sure, folks. Elbow to the chest there. Kennedy Sinclair. Very confident in his abilities in the past. Of amateur professional wrestling. Has won many medals in competitions. But he's no longer a senior in high school. He's no longer the captain of a high school wrestling team. This young man is an adult now. And now he's off the wrestling mats in small gymnasiums. And he's in a professional wrestling ring surrounded by an audience. A crowd of professional wrestling fans. He's now adapting to his surroundings. Adapting to his new role, his position in life. And now that there's a vacancy for the SWF World Championship number one contendership. He wants to take this time to adapt, grow, and better himself. And what a way to do that if he can defeat the role model, Magnificent Mandy, who is also on a quest to be the first ever SWF female world champion. But she's not the only female that wants to be the first female world champion. We've got Harriet Harlem. We've got Dragonfly, Whiskey Marie. All of those women want the same thing. Magnificent Mandy wants to be a role model to children. Boys and girls that want to grow up to be professional wrestlers. She wants to prove that no matter who you are, no matter where you come from, no matter your gender, you too could be a professional wrestler and someday you could be the world champion. And she wants to lead by example by doing it herself. Children look up to Magnificent Mandy. Real popular with the children. She's great at autograph sightings. The kids love her. They love taking photographs with her. They like getting signatures. They love framing their autographs. A lot of children think that she's a wonderful person. Mothers and fathers agree as well. But she's a, a role model for the kids. Kenny Sinclair in the past has shown that he doesn't care about the fans. He doesn't care about being liked. He's very similar with the mindset like Rita Rotten. Except I, I see a difference between those two. Rita Rotten accepts herself for what she is. And she has a bit of an inflated ego. Kenny Sinclair still a bit of an egomaniac but trying to have a bit more personality, trying to be a bit more likable. Maybe he's doing it for himself. I don't know how he feels about what the crowd thinks, but I think he's trying to grow for himself. And I've got to say, whether he's good or bad, whether he's loved, whether he's hated, that's a very admirable thing to do, to work on yourself, to better yourself, to want to take yourself more seriously, to want to grow, to want to adapt, to want to achieve. I've got to say, anybody that's willing to do that has a bit of respect for me. Kenny Sinclair, he's looking so good in the ring. I love his new attire. I like his new attitude. I like that he's trying to put himself out there. I like that I like that he wants to be more prominent. I like that he wants to be more showcased. He wants to be more featured. He wants to be a serious contender. He wants to be remembered. He wants to be a future SWF world champion. And if you don't want to be a world champion, then you don't belong in the Super Wrestling Federation. Oh, take it down hard. Magnificent Mandy. Very passionate. Just like many others in the locker room. They all want to be the SWF world champion. 
and someday we may have a secondary singles title. Perhaps we'll have tag team titles. And then they'll want those too. You should want to achieve everything that you could possibly achieve. But ultimately, your goal should be that you want to be the world champion. You want to be number one. It's very lonely being number one. It's very lonely at the top of the mountain. But you've got the SWF World Championship to keep you warm. Magnificent Mandy has yet to challenge for the SWF World Championship. Kenny Sinclair has yet to challenge for the SWF World Championship. That's why these two are putting on a great match. An amazing competitive match. Very back and forth. There's a vacancy for the SWF World Championship since Luigi Calzone successfully defended the SWF World Champion World Championship title belt against the Killer Wasp. Normally when there's a vacancy, all the superstars step up their game. They want to put on bigger and better matches. They want to be noticed by the crowd. They want they want notoriety. Whether it's good attention, bad attention, as long as they're getting a reaction, they know that they are in the spotlight. And right now these two want to be in that spotlight. They want to be the next number one contender. Currently there is not one. We know everybody's gunning for it. Everybody wants it. Ed Trout wants it. Brandon Trout wants it. Von Saad wants it. Hawaiian Steve wants it. Kennedy Sinclair wants it. Magnificent Mandy. The Prowler. Everybody. Whether they're a top star. Whether they're a newcomer. They all want to be the world champion. Because that is what the SWF is all about. Everybody is passionate. Everybody is growing. Everybody is adapting. To being better than they were before and that's exactly why Luigi Calzone is the current SWF world champion he lost to Von Saad in the past but then he got to face him at the first pay-per-view best two or three falls and guess what he learned from that loss previously he learned from matches against other superstars he learned how to grow how to better himself and now look at him he's lonely he's at the top of the mountain but he's got the SWF world championship to keep him warm and he successfully defended against the killer wasp and whoever challenges next luigi calzone hopes to successfully defend against them as well that's why even when you succeed even when you achieve your goals you should never stop you should keep growing keep adapting keep fighting keep bettering yourself because you never know when someone better will come along to dethrone you and it very well could be the role model magnificent mandy Wait a second here. Diving, risking everything. Diving over the top rope there. Risking everything in her body. In her soul to connect with that diving attack. Luckily for her, she did. She could have been injured. She could have missed. But she didn't. She believed in herself. She soared over the top rope like an eagle in the sky. And she very well could defeat Kennedy Sinclair. Kennedy Sinclair not going to go down easy. The first time we've ever seen these two fight, they're putting on a clinic. One, two, and no, only a two count. Magnificent Mandy not giving up, and neither is the solution. Kick to the face there. Both competitors down. Back to his feet. What's Kenny Sinclair going to do here? Wait, not much, except to get spun around with the back suplex. Magnificent Mandy taunting for the crowd that's on their feet, screaming at the top of their lungs, expressing their joy and excitement to be here live on Saturday Night Power Slam. The disrespectful taunt goes for the Lariat, drops her down hard, goes for the pin now. One, two, oh, I thought it was over. 2.9, 2.9. Figure four leg lock applied by Magnificent Mandy. Center of the ring, Sinclair appears to be in danger, but he escapes. The match wages on, it's not over yet. Both of these two putting on the best match of their careers. Once again, the figure four leg lock applied. Kennedy Sinclair does not want to give up, but he does. He can't take the pin anymore. He screams, I quit, I quit, I quit at the top of his lungs. Referee and Trout rings the bell. And in the end, the dust has, sm the dust has settled. The smoke is cleared and Magnificent Mandy is victorious tonight.